Hi, this is Katie, and I write the blog IT Foodie, and I'm going to talk to you today about how you would use Pinterest to set up a bookmarking site. Uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to make it as easy as possible to pin a site. So Pinterest makes this pretty simple. You can go to about.pinterest.com backslash goodies, or you can just Google Pinterest goodies, and you feel, you'll appear on this page and just scroll down until you get to this pin it button. All I have to do is drag this right into my browser and now I can pin anything from a site. Um, I could also do something a little bit grander and do an add-on with Mozilla and I have both of these websites available in the blog post. This if I add it, and I've already added this one, will allow me to right click on an image like this and pin that image from here. They both work almost exactly the same way so it really just becomes a preference of which one you like more. So now that I've got a pinning capability in my browser, I've got to create a board. One of the things that you want to decide first is if you want to make this blog secret or available to others. Um, you only have this option when you first set up the board. So think about if this is a reading list for you or a reading list you want to share with your readers. So I'm going to pretend like this is a reading list just for me. And I'll give it a nice, easy to remember description. And I could give it a category, but I'm not going to worry with that. So now this changes will be saved, and now my reading list board is set up. So how this would work is, say, I'm interested in Facebook versus Google, um, and I find this article that I'd want to look at later. Um, most of the time, there would be a little pin it option right here, but there isn't, um, and luckily I have my pin it involved in my, in, installed in my browser, so I'll just click that button, and I think I'm going to use this one, because that one's the clearest. And here's one of the, I think one of the nice reasons to use Pinterest for bookmarking is now I can actually leave myself a note as to why I want to read this. So. Let me change this. Oops. Ah, there it is. Hopefully, <laughs> um, I would have read it and had a better understanding and a better description, but at the very least, I've got this. Um, and so you can see that's just just that simple. And so now I can go back whenever I want to read this. Um, but I wanted to give you an example of why I think Pinterest as a bookmarking has potential. But here's the one flaw. Say, for instance, I wanted to pin this article. Um, the only thing that I could probably pin, well, let's pull it up and I'll show you, are images that aren't particularly relevant to the article like this or this. Maybe that one would somewhat help. So in this case I'd have to write myself a much better description as to why I want to go back and read this one. So it's a helpful tool but in terms of as a visual bookmarking sometimes it's going to be great and sometimes it's going to fall a little bit short. But that's really that. That's, ex that's all you have to do to use Pinterest for bookmarking. So I hope that was helpful.